Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Whims of Fate. And it has been a little bit of time since the eyes of the gods have turned back on to this small, scrappy tribe, but they are back and they are curious to see how Mono, our Generation 3 heiress, the current leader of this tribe, who is caring, restless, and overbearing, will be able to hold her tribe together as they approach the maximum tribe size of 14 and begin to do their best to survive against all of the dangers of this Barina Island. Not just any Barina Island either, Killer Barina Island, though currently the killers seem to be held at bay, we can smell out a few interesting things along the edges of the tribe's territory. There is a friendly Barina who happens to be roaming nearby, having never forgotten when we offered him the gift of food even while we fought off his mother. Kind of an interesting twist that the Barinas have there. We have got a very curious nicheling who I am beginning to wonder it may not actually be one of ours, may not be related to us, hiding inside of the grasses. And if it is indeed a new nicheling with this big body, those wonderful savanna horns, and some claws, nimble fingers, for collecting all of those berries and opening up those nuts, we may want to add those genes into our family tree. So we're keeping an eye on that interesting newcomer. Mono, as the leader who does need to have more children of her own, in particular is quite interested in what he might be up to. And then finally, I could have sworn we smelled something else nearby. No, no. We don't smell them, but we know that the killer barinas are like ling ling lingering and lurking in all of the shadows around us. So that is where we find ourselves right now. Also searching out enough food to be able to keep our growing population safe and also protecting the newest members of our growing population, the young twins Ash and Trico, who have just been born and who are currently ambling their way out of the nest, one with the amazing addition of Toxic Body, which is fantastic and should hopefully keep him quite safe for some time, and Platypus Beak, which could offer up a new source of food to our young Whims tribe, and Ash with the amazing stripes down his body. Just look at these. I love, love, love his appearance, and I think that he will be quite popular amongst the females of the tribe, especially since he has so many ways to eat uh, and collect food, which is ever so important. Even if he is a little bit short-sighted, and even if we do have to worry about how he might not be able to defend himself very much, especially against those who lurk right over the nest, eager to go ahead and eat the young little nichelings that we have below. And then finally, we do have another addition to the nest that, was it Almond's child? No, this is Haril, Mano's child. But Haril is actually the child of a rogue who wandered by and Mano, our leader. And he, even though we were quite fretful about what would happen when we had a child of a rogue, actually turns out to be stunning because of his wing. We have now added in to the family one wing, and hopefully we will be able to pass this trait on to further generations. But considering the fact that this is the Whims legacy, and thus the Whims of the Nishling gods are the ones who dis pick out all of the different genes using a random generator, well, that's going to be quite the challenge indeed. So my friends, if you need a refresher about the Whims Challenge and the various rules that we are currently playing by for this really amazing and ever-evolving story, definitely check out the links in the video description to the Niche Wiki, which is manned by our wonderful Professor Callium for the most part, and they do an amazing job on providing lots of information about all of our different niche links. And if you would like to uh, follow along from the very beginning, then you will see as this family evolves through their playlist. So all of those set aside, since we have just returned after a long while from uh, being away from this tribe, let's get going. And actually, now that I'm looking upon this with fresh eyes, there's a lot of food to be had. If only, if only we had more toxic things. <laughs> if only we had more toxic things, or at least one of our... <gasps> Trico! As our toxic body little nicheling. He has resistance to poison, but and he can collect one berry at a time. Ugh. All right, so we have Trico, 
We have Ivy who cannot collect any of these berries, unfortunately. She can't even open up that termite mound we're trying to have her collect ants from. Uh, and we have Sunny who does actually have poison resistance, but not because of her toxic body. I thought for a long time that she had toxic body, but many of us think that perhaps she just has yellow fur. And it really could go either way, and we'll have no idea because we're playing with blind genes. So we have no idea if she actually has toxic body or if she just has yellow fur. But she does have those fangs, and she unfortunately also can't gather from the abundant toxic berry bushes due to the fact that she doesn't have any collecting ability. <sighs> she hasn't even been assigned any of her mutations from the gods yet to have any children either, so we're gonna have to think carefully about how we want to expand the tribe. Hmm. I think that's something that Mono, who is caring, restless, and overbearing, is definitely going to be thinking about. And because she is so restless, she's always protected the younger and weaker members of the tribe from her caring trait. But after the recent tragedies that we had of losing so many members to the killer Barinas, Mono really has decided that it's really too dangerous to stay in one place. And as long as we have enough food, she's constantly herding the other nichelings from place to place. And I wonder if Mono is going to be the generation that finally breaks free of this island and leaves by the only open route that we can go down. Ever since we arrived on the island, we picked, because uh, the way the Whims Challenge works, you can only pick one port to leave from randomly. And we rolled the dice of destiny and it said that this one. And I'm beginning to wonder if across this great grassland, and to the world unknown might be where Mono wants to send the tribe. But we'll have to see what kind of dangers begin to lurk around the edges. So all right, I think the only ones with nothing to do are the babies who need to work on growing up and getting bigger. And otherwise... Oh! Remember that whole like, hmm, I wonder if there will be threats soon that will prompt Mono to think, maybe we should move. <laughs> I, I, um. This one, this one definitely counts, but this killer Vienna only has five days left to live. And if we can land a couple blows or just run for it, maybe the friendly Barina will be able to help keep us alive. All right, all right, we've got to figure out how we want to handle this. Um, Talur, oh gosh, and Talur has had many healthy children and I think he's got, he's got some interesting mutations. Neither of these two boys have like the best mutations. Talur, you also have toxic things. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, but unfortunately he has bat head and sticky head as possible mutations to pass on. So even if we had him have babies with Sunny, who I think is his daughter, who is his daughter, <laughs> there's not a very high chance that they could be toxic fangs. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, well, none of us have enough attack to actually damage the Barina, like, at all. Yeah, literally none of us have any attack to damage the Barina. <laughs> But we have babies to think of! We do have little babies! Alright, let's see. Ducky, you come over here. And let's see if we can try to wiggle the little ones down. Ivy will rush up and try to encourage her siblings to come down this way. Um, and Ash, you're gonna have to stay there, I think. Okay, actually, we'll have Ash run this way. We can send Haril down, so... Almond will yank him down and tell Fox to hopefully help him find a way out of all of this. So we're going to have Fox, who is really cool because he does have a little bit of defense with his mammoth foot. Fox, who are your parents again? The old Acorn. Acorn the first is actually her par his parent. Um, and then we've also got... Wait. Yeah, no. Acorn. Just Acorn. Uh, and Tulur. Tulur has fathered many of the children here. And he is one of the distant descendants of Chatani! Oh, Chatani! That was such an awesome nicheling. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're gonna have Tulur rush over. And we'll start letting him kind of clear away some of the grass. The babies will be safer in the grass, but then the Barinas also spawn, or excuse me, ahem, the Barinas also lurk in the grass, so picking which side to choose is a little tricky. Uh, yeah, literally nobody is strong enough to fight the killer Barina, so it's going to be a matter of trying to outlive him for five days. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead. Moon. 
Uh, is Moon the one? Yeah, Moon is actually the one who never turns down any food. She's very stubborn about that. And she's the one who had Ash and Trico, the twins. So Moon's gonna angrily grab this food because heck if like some Berina chases her away from her noms. And then I'm gonna have her jump over and start trying to clear away some of the area so that her children can run away faster. Meanwhile, I'm going to have Sunny who also unfortunately, I mean, she could try to poison and Tulura could try to poison this guy. I'm gonna have Sunny maybe get ready for trying to attack. And Riri has a very small chance of attack, but it wouldn't really do much. And he's been on the run for quite a while from this killer Barina. I'm gonna have Riri come down, eat this so he can try to heal up. And he's gonna try a sneak attack from behind. I don't know how much it will help, but we're gonna do something. Meanwhile, Sunny is also going to sneak over here. She'll do what she can to try to fight them off. Lynx the second has also been doing what he can to try to prepare the area and fight against the Barina. He's always been a brave one. Has he had any children? He has not had any children. Does he have any? He could just pass on swimming legs and black pattern. Oh, Lynx, you've been such a brave boy. He was one of our two adventurous brothers. All right, you know what? We're gonna have him sneak around the back to try to keep an eye on where the Barina is. And then Mono, we'll have her fall back. I wonder if she could call for like help, I'm not sure. And we're gonna have Almond go ahead and gather up some food because that's really all we can do at this stage. Well, we could do a lot more like running away screaming, but we're trying to be somewhat reasonable about this. And we'll have Ivy jump up here to try to help everybody get down. Meanwhile, Ducky, can you do anything? He really can't. So we're gonna have him gather up some food and clear away the grass. And I think I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna let Mono yell out angrily to try to challenge this killer Barina. And Tulur, all right, Tulur tried to land a blow and he's gonna fall back. <gasps> the baby! You jerk, Van Vandler! I thought you were going to kind of stay and act as a very derpy defense for the babies! Oh no, the babies! This is very not good! I, I, I lined all of that up thinking that the, the rogue would stay put or the wanderer would stay put. <gasps> what? Are the Barina fighting? The Barina are fighting! The Barina are fighting! Look, the killer! What the heck? We have just been defended by the friendly Barina? Like, I think everybody is somewhat stunned by this turn of events. Lynx is gonna jump up here to get a better view of what the heck's going on. Riri, we're gonna have him run over here to try to open up a better path so we can try to jump and then maybe just keep an eye on the situation for just a second. Let's clear these grasses away. Yeah, this is getting a little interesting. Maybe we called, did we summon help with the killer Barina or like the, the friendly Barina? Cause if that's the case, that's kind of amazing. All right, and the boys have already grown up, yes. All right, so the twins are grown up. So we're gonna have them like rushing down to the beach. They're gonna be shoved down to the beach where Ducky is going to guide them down here to hopefully be able to be safe by the waterways. And meanwhile, Fox is going to pull the baby down into the shadows and then try to clear away some of this area. While Almond, never one to waste an opportunity to gather up what food might help her tribe, will shake the tree. Okay, Talur can try to come over here. And I think we're going to go ahead and clear the grass away so we see what's going on. He's going to fall back a little bit. But the friendly Barina is holding him off. Oh my goodness. All right, meanwhile, Moon. Where am I going to send you, Moon? Have you had any children? Yes, she had the two babies. All right. And what can she do? She can swim a little. She can collect. She can crack open nuts. Um, I'm going to have Moon run down to kind of be at the shore with her children. 
Oh, she got stuck. She's not the she's not the brightest when she's agitated, but we'll send Moon to run down to the shore to be with her children and also to see this tree. This may be the tree that she claims is her new tree since she was so rudely dragged away by Riri to save her life from this tree over here. All right. Meanwhile, we can try to do a little hunting. Lynx will do a bit of hunting to see if we can lure the killer Berriana with the scent of fresh meat back. And then let's have Mono. What can she smell? What can she see? I'm going to have Mono jump over here and try to do a little bit of defense and exploration because we still have a very hungry tribe to feed. This takes a lot of members. All right, hang in there, everyone. Sunny! All right, just three days left on this killer Barina's life. Sunny has taken some damage. She's landed a couple blows and can fall back, though. Meanwhile, Riri can try to keep the Berina between him and, like, the, the rock between him and this Berina. And the Lynx is over here, perhaps hidden just enough, and maybe Lynx can call for help. We'll have to see if he wants to call for help soon, though. All right. Meanwhile, let's come on down here. Almond is still sheltering little Haril of the One Wing. And then we have got these two, so we're going to send Ash and Trico down to follow his mother, Moon. Their mother, Moon. As she pushes her way deeper into the waters. And they're going to start noodle doodling some worms. Ooh, and we almost managed to get that bundle. But they're going to start noodle doodling some worms. And we'll have Ducky go with them to help clear away the area around here so we can see what the heck we're doing. And then we're going to have Fox. Oh, can I? All right, Fox is going to help out with gathering up some meat here. And Mono is going to gather up a whole bunch of roots. Because even with the killer bayina, we need to gather up the food. And meanwhile, down here, I'm going to let Lynx do a couple calls to see if we can bring even more help to our side. And Tlur, let's see. I'm gonna have Tulur come down here. Oh, please tell me that's friendly. Oh, it's not friendly, Marina! There we go. And he's going to start doing some attacking over here. There we go. And hopefully summoning help. So the Berina has called. It's Berina on Berina battle, like everywhere. I did not expect this. All right, we've got two Berina to fight off, but surprisingly, I think we're doing okay. <gasps> Yeep! I mean, I say that, but Sunny! Okay, she's she's not doing terribly bad so far. <gasps> he killed the friendly Berina! How could you, our comrade? Oh my gosh. Oh, here, we're gonna say we buried his bones. And then I, we can't really fight him at all, so let's fall back again. All right, let's fall back. Come on, Sunny. Oh no, and the healing fruit isn't available just yet. Let's have Riri fall back. And we at least know vaguely where the killer Barina is. Meanwhile, we have a very dangerous Barina over here. So let's dash over this way. The friendly Bar the friendly Barina is back to help out with the fight. Talur is bleeding. So we'll have Ivy go ahead and try to help heal him, even though she's hiding behind the termite mound. Ducky's here to help out with the battle as soon as he can. Meanwhile, Moon, we're going to push her for further. Who are you? Lala. Oh my gosh, it's Lala. <laughs> okay, Lala is the name of another one of our, uh, another one of our nichelings. Yuki has, Yuki is our nicheling god. And Yuki usually appears as an albino nicheling, often a rogue albino nicheling. But Yuki's female name is Lala, and it appears we have Lala reborn. Um, but Lala doesn't seem to have any of the genes that we want. So we're just going to casually kind of let Lala go, uh, sort of. Definitely not inviting into the tribe. I think Moon would be somewhat affronted because this is going to be her tree. Thank you very much. She doesn't need interlopers. And let's pull her boys over because I do think Moon would want... Uh, she wasn't like... 100% behind the idea of having kids at first, but now she's like, come to me, boys, you will claim my beach. You will have land that will be safe. 
There we go. And free from these interlopers. And meanwhile, let's go ahead. I'm going to have Mono clear away a couple spots and resume her overlook. And she's going to send Sneaky Fox forward to try to wiggle his way into the grasses and see what's going on and spy on the conditions elsewhere. And little baby Harin is going to stay right where he is at, protected by Almond, who seems to be standing in for Mono. Yeep! Yeep! Just as I thought we won! A new killer Marina emerges! Oh my gosh! Oh goodness gravy! Just as I thought we had managed to outwit this one, the, the battles continue. Heck, heck, heck. Okay. Now we've got to think about this all over again. <laughs> all right, friends, we will have to see if this is just too much for Mono. If Killer Berina after Killer Berina go around is just too much for her tribe to deal with. She is very like caring after all. Uh, or will she think that there can be a way to survive here if we, oh, look at this place. If we just manage to hold out, I think we're going to have to find out next time especially since we're always teetering right on the edge of not having enough food. And I think that the great flight might begin. Oof, but I wouldn't be able to take all the nichelings with me. Okay, we're gonna have to think about this, but I think that Mono is going to want to start wiggling around a little bit to try to escape this uncertain fate. So, thank you guys so much for joining me as we resume our adventures with the whims. As usual, they are keeping us on their toes, uh, or, you know, on their wing tips, as Haryin now is the first one with some wings in the family tree. And we will have to see what adventures they get up to next time. So if you guys would like to join us, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.